Today we're going to install the bed rug complete bed liner on this 2019 new body style Ram 1500 with a 5.7 bed. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we did is we got this out of the box. We laid it flat. We put some weight on it and let it relax a little bit. When you first get this thing out of the box, it's been rolled up for a long, long time. It doesn't necessarily want to lay flat. So we went ahead and did that. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this upside down. And on the bo bottom, you're going to see a couple of Velcro strips that have been stitched into the back of the bed rug. And in your kit, you're going to have some long, uh, red backed Velcro strips. Uh, make sure you select those red back ones. And we're just going to attach it. Kind of press it into it. Do that on both of them. We can go ahead and flip it back over and attach the sides. All right, so we're starting on this side over here. We're flipping it over and you're going to see that you got a piece of zipper that's attached uh, to the, the bed rug itself. We're going to take the sidewall and feed that into the zipper. And then just start zipping it up. And the best way to do this is get the zipper kind of lined up where you can do a straight pull and pull it a little bit at a time. We'll work it all the way around to the other side. Now when you get to the end, the zipper kind of doubles over. Don't worry about trying to follow that around. That's just to keep the zipper from unraveling. Now we're going to go ahead and set the bed rug into the bed of the truck. Now we want to make sure the bed is thoroughly cleaned out before we put this in here. Let's lift it up. Okay, now this is how I set the bed rug in place. First, I push it all the way up to the bulkhead, make sure everything's nice and centered. It's going to rest into the grooves of the bed of the truck, uh, so it's gonna help you get everything aligned. Once you've got everything aligned, use your body weight kind of as an anchor and hold that down. And then you're gonna wanna take and pull the sidewall back to where you can see uh, the red Velcro. Look to see which uh, which part of the bed of the truck that red Velcro lands on. It's going to land right across here. Now, before you just peel it and stick it, you want to rub down that area with isopropyl alcohol. Um, any drugstore alcohol will work. I use 91%. Just wipe that down. What that does is that gets any kind of wax residue, any kind of grime or debris, uh, fingerprints, all that sort of thing, it pulls it right off. Next, we can go ahead and take and peel away the Velcro. Now, I'm very careful not to shift my body weight around so it doesn't move the bed rug around. Once I peel that away, um, I'm also gonna be very careful not to touch that adhesive with my fingers because that will weaken the adhesive. Gonna take and drop it down into place. Put it down. And then just apply pressure all the way across. All right, next what we're gonna do is fold back our uh, bulkhead piece. And you're gonna see a few strips of Velcro on the bulkhead piece uh, down to the bottom, towards the middle and up at the top. 
Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to see where that lines up on the bulkhead uh, to different places where we can attach Velcro. So we're going to attach some of our short pieces of Velcro. And before we attach that, we're going to go ahead and wipe down those surfaces where they're going to contact, again, with some isopropyl alcohol. Peel away the adhesive protector. And before you lay it in place, you want to make sure that the front end is pushed all the way down and then lift it up into place. Apply pressure to make sure you get a good adhesion. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a few more pieces of Velcro on this middle piece. And again, before, uh, before we peel it off, we want to wipe down the surface that's going to be sticking to with isopropyl alcohol. Now check the edges, make sure it's going up straight, and then kind of roll it up into place. And apply pressure on each point. Now we can focus our attention on the top strip. Now they give you a continuous piece of Velcro to go across the bulkhead. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually not going to use that on this application. Um, that's so that you can have a nice clean edge up, up across the top. This particular truck bed is going to have a tonneau cover on it that's going to cover up that edge. So I'm actually going to use my long piece of Velcro at my tailgate pillar where the tailgate closes up against the bed of the truck. Um, and for this piece here, I'm just going to use more of my two inch strips. And again, we're going to wipe down this whole surface down with rubbing alcohol. I like to start with the center. And then go out from there. Again, through all of this, remember not to touch the adhesive as you're working on this. All right, now what we're going to do is take some more of our small Velcro strips. Uh, what I like to do is separate them out. Make sure you have about five more, five or six more of these to use the tailgate in. Then divide the rest in half, left side and right side. We're going to go ahead and start putting these. I like to go to the bottom first, then to the top.
Now, if you have the track system from RAM, you'll just need to cut around that, remove the track system, cut around, and put the track system right back over top of the bed rug. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and hold it up against the wall of the bed of the truck. But before we attach it, we're gonna mark the locations where our tie-down hooks come through. And we're gonna cut through them with the utility knife just to give you access to those tie-down hooks. Wiping all this area down with rubbing alcohol. All right. Now, as we attach this, we want to make sure we kind of bear down, make sure that uh, make sure it's down around the wheel well. We don't want to attach it to where it's pulled up. We want to make sure it's based properly as we work up. And then go to the top row. Now your instructions are going to show you to use the small two inch pieces of velcro along the back end. Um, I like to use the continuous piece of velcro. I think it just gives a cleaner and flusher look. Um, and again, this cover is going to, or this truck is going to have a, a truck bed cover on it. Uh, so I'm not really concerned um, about, uh, you know, the, the, the gaps that we're going to see at the front because that'll be covered with a tonneau cover. Just use my scissors, cut that in place, and use the rest of it on the opposite side. And just like all the other places where Velcro is going to attach, we want to make sure that we wipe down that surface with rubbing alcohol. Peel away the adhesive protector. Very carefully. Fit it up into the corners, wrap it around, and let it attach. We're going to repeat that on the opposite side as well. All right, next we need to remove this rear panel from the tailgate. What we're going to do is use a T30 Torx and pull out our eight bolts. You want to make sure and save these. Now, if you have a drop-in factory bed liner, that you're replacing with a bed rug. It's a great idea, but you will have uh, different hardware holding that piece in and you'll need to get some M6 bolts. Um, I do at least a 10 millimeter long bolt uh, along with some flat washers. And that you can use to replace uh, the tailgate or the drop-in bed liner tailgate hardware. We 
we're just going to lift this up. We've got this J channel piece that's going to snap right over top. We want to get it nice and centered on there. Once that's in place, go ahead and set the panel back in place, line up all the holes, get all the screws started first. And then after they're started, you can go ahead and fasten them down. Now they just need to be nice and snug. No need to try to tighten these down too tight. Also, before you get it completely tightened down, you want to make sure that your J channel is nice and centered on the bed of the truck. And now we can go ahead and tighten down those Torx bolts. Again, just get them nice and snug. All right, now this J strip I have already wiped down with rubbing alcohol. We're going to be applying this Velcro to it. But before we do that, we need to actually wipe it down with adhesive promoter. The Velcro doesn't like to stick just to plastic. So we have to prep that plastic first um, with the provided 3M adhesive promoter. This will be included in your kit. All right, now that we've allowed that to dry, we're gonna go ahead and peel away the adhesive protector on the back of our other long strip of Velcro. We're gonna take and place that on the edge of the J-strip. want to bear down on it, make sure you get proper adhesion. Next, we're going to take our remaining two inch strips and we're going to put them on the Velcro kind of in direct line to areas where you've got raises in the tailgate. And we just kind of want to divide them up, get them nice and even. Now I've already gone ahead and wiped down this surface with rubbing alcohol, I can go ahead and peel away my adhesive protectors. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fold this back. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, you wanna try to keep um, these Velcros from touching uh, this surface while you're trying to line up the Velcro to the tailgate. So get that lined up nice and easy. Come back and bear down on the areas where you have the Velcro back here. All 
All right, guys, one thing I do want to point out is this trim strip here is an optional piece. It does clean up the installation, give you a nice flat surface to attach the bed rug to. However, this can conflict with other things that install into the bed of the truck, especially if they if it's a cover that installs to the inside of the bed caps, it can contact that trim strip. So today I'm also going to show you an alternate installation. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pull this off just by loosening up the screws. Go ahead and pull this out. And I'm going to tighten the screws back down. All right, now this area right here along the top of this panel I've already wiped down with some rubbing alcohol as well as the plastic bed cap on the edge. I'm going to go ahead and use my adhesive promoter now uh, because we're going to be attaching to uh, this plastic edge. We're going to uh, put some of the Velcro adhesive right here. So I'm going to prep this with adhesive promoter. Do that on both sides. And we're going to let that flash. I'm going to take my adhesive Velcro strip and run it right across the stitched in Velcro at the end of the, uh, the tailgate panel. All right, next we're going to go ahead and peel the adhesive protector off of our Velcro. And we're going to lay this in place so that the Velcro comes right up to the edge of that metal panel. Set that in place. We're going to bear down, make sure we get good adhesion. And once we've run that in, we can go ahead and pull out our piece so that the Velcro can attach at the back. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.